Okay, so I just got done watching the new It teaser trailer. And, uh, okay, um, whoa. Uh, it's, it's definitely the first half of Stephen King's It. Uh, the influence of the original television movie is reasonably strong, uh, especially in the sequences that they show you, because they, they show you the initial sequence where, like, uh, Georgie's boat goes down into the drain, and that pretty much looks like a bigger budget version of the television movie. Um, and they're building up some decent dread, and you're like, for a minute, I'm like, well, this might actually work. This might actually fucking work. And then Pennywise shows up. And you're like, what? <laughs> okay, so, so there are a couple of things happening, which you're just like, you gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Like, it's, it's, th this, this does not look like it's gonna be good, because I'm gonna tell you right now, everything with Pennywise in it looks dumb. It looks really fucking dumb. Like, when he shows up, he is not scary. He just looks stupid. And that's not... That ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. You know, and, and near the end of the trailer, he does that, Oh, I speed up near the camera! You know, you're just like, what? What? Come on, man! He can't do that! Like, that's, that's fucking retarded! That oh my god no no you know you know what was great about that television movie say what you will about it really was Tim Curry as Pennywise there are a lot of other things about the movie that didn't work but fucking Tim Curry as Pennywise worked perfectly like he's what everyone really remembers nobody remembers any of the other shit that they did uh good or bad they remember Tim Curry as Pennywise this looks like this has got the exact opposite problem it looks like almost everything that they're doing works it's atmospheric they're obviously taking a lot of cues from stranger things which makes sense since stranger things was based off of stephen king you know so that there, there's no real problem there but the problem is is that now we've seen the better version and that better version is called Stranger Things. So they're doing the modern movie shit where like, oh, things move fast. And those like, and every time they do something like that, it looks stupid. It looks dumb. It's, it's R-tarded. It's clown-tard. It's clown-tarded, man. Like, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work visually. Like, they're doing this thing where they're, like, going through slides. Oh, and the slides, it's not his mom anymore. It's Pennywise. And I'm like, that should be cool. But because Pennywise looks dumb, it isn't. It's not. And so when he finally, when he does that thing at the end of the trailer where it's like, well, I'm going to get you. Like, wouldn't it have just been better to just have him rise out of the corner and just offering the kids a balloon? <laughs> you know, or having him come up and he's like, hell, kids. You know, and that would have been freaky. You know, like that might have been scary. But as I said many times before, one of the problems I have with the design of Pennywise is it's too it looks too creepy to be creepy. You know, you know that he's not right. Take a look at the original Tim Curry Pennywise design. There is nothing inherently creepy about it except the fact that he's a clown and clowns are a little creepy. But he looks like a normal clown. What's creepy is the shit that he does you know it's sense of humor the the fact that he taunts people you know he's a little freddy krueger like that's kind of the pennywise we know and love you know he is an asshole monster made of your nightmares you know so it makes sense that he'd have a lot in common with freddy krueger you know and i think tim curry recognized that and was like okay well i gotta do i gotta do the robert england a little bit but i gotta make it mine i gotta do it the tim curry way and he nailed it. He completely nailed it. Just looking at this, it looks wrong and funny. 
you made a clown so creepy it actually looks ridiculous in the context of this horror movie. Pennywise needs to look relatively normal. It's the actor that has to bring out that monster. If you can't make me afraid of the clown, I don't know how you're gonna make me afraid of the giant spider monster. You know, there's an old horror writer saying, horror is a clown at your back door at midnight. You know, it is the wrong thing in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's not that the clown itself is inherently sinister. It's that he's sinister because he's at your back door at midnight, where and when no clown should ever be. But Pennywise here looks like a horror movie clown. He looks like he'd be a little more comfortable in killer clowns from outer space, which in that movie is fine because the movie's built around that look, but Pennywise looks out of place. He's supposed to be inviting. He's a clown. He's happy. He's nice. He's gonna give you a balloon, you know? And then at the last minute is when he grabs you and is like, you'll float down here too. You know, you're like, yeah, fucking scary. But they also do this thing with Georgie because he comes back as a ghost. Uh, kind of and they have him say the you'll float here. You know, we all float down here But they're trying to make it like that moment in the pet cemetery movie You know like when gage is like now I want to play with you Well, the reason that's creepy is because it's a little little kid dude. That sounds fucking creepy man what it really reminded me of when Georgie says, you know, you'll float here, too is it reminds me of pet cemetery Two, where the mom screams, dead is better, dead is better. And you're like, no, no, that's not working. It's not working at all. And he's like, you'll float too, you'll float too. No, it's way creepier just to have him go like, it's okay, Bill. If you come see me, you'll float too. That's way creepier. That's way creepier, but no, he starts screaming at him. I was like, oh, fucking no. See, now we know that it's bad and that it's evil and, and, and oh, God. It just, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I, it's so weird to go like, wow, everything in this trailer except for the scares works. But the scares aren't landing. They're either funny or cringy. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. The sad thing is, is when you look at it, it looks way better than your bargain bin fucking horror remake. You know, it looks way better than that Poltergeist remake, but that's a low bar. Right now, it looks like a very high budget, well polished production with a lot of really bad filmmaking choices. Like maybe someone read a, this is how you do a horror movie. It, 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 you know, and everything else is right, but those those basics of getting you in and getting you terrified are, is just by the numbers and they're modern numbers. So we really understand those tricks right now and they're really aggravating. We're done with them. We need to do something else. Why did Stranger Things work so well? Because they brought back the techniques of horror from the past. Take a look at it, like slow pan ins, a good shot of the monster, even though you don't see him that much, the dread of its presence. And yeah, the monster doesn't look normal, but in the context of Stranger Things, the monster shouldn't look normal. It should look alien. Pennywise shouldn't look alien. He should be alien, but he should look normal, horrifically, scarily normal. And I don't think that they understood that. And I think that the fact that they're using like the fast cutting, like I'm looking at Pennywise move at the end and I'm like, don't throw 13 and ghosts me. Do not throw 13 and ghosts me. You know, like that doesn't work ever. Well, I guess that's my reaction to the fucking it trailer. Uh, man, uh, I'll probably see it because to be honest, it looks like there are a few things worth going for, but if I was to give my prediction of how I think the movie is going to be, 
I, I don't think it's going to be very good. I'd love to come back with something a bit more positive, but I got to say, the minute I saw that Pennywise in the promos, I was like, oh shit, we are in fucking trouble. Which is too bad, because like I said, it looks like a lot of effort went into this one. Effort and money. But money in high production ain't always what brings the boys and girls to the yard. It's gotta be scary. It's gotta be cool. You know, you gotta be afraid inherently of Pennywise. That's the whole draw. Right now, it doesn't look like it has that. And that's too bad. Well, if you like this trailer reaction video, you want me to do more of them, let me know in the comments below. Hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and follow me on Twitter at, at count underscore jacula with the hashtag slut pit life. We also got that Patreon if you want to kick in a buck or two a month to keep the show going. And we're selling Baphomet t-shirts until April 12th at teespring.com. All those things will be in a link in the description below, so if you want to help out, we're gonna appreciate it. You do that and the slut pit will give you all the love and attention you've been craving. Well, that's it for this trailer reaction, Fright Nights, Monster Girls, and assorted members of the slut pit. And remember, I'm your old pal, Count Dracula from the planet Dracula. Keep watching fucked up movies.